How's everybody doing? My name's Mike from Roots Canine Training, and I want to know, no, I want to talk about, stop boy, I want to talk about uh, why I switch this dog to a prong collar. So whenever I bring a dog to my house, I normally will use a uh, choke chain, and uh, that's what I did with him, and what I was experiencing is he was putting the brakes on, meaning I'm walking with him and he's at heel and he would just stop walking, come to a dead stop to keep me from uh, walking any further and he's uh, you know, trying to control physically where I go and he's trying to control the walk and of course they can't do that. So uh, I would just put pressure on the leash and he would uh, come with me after that. They kind of freeze and I would get him to unfreeze but he would keep freezing up and putting the brakes on after that so I switch them to a prong collar and uh, what that did is it encouraged it gives us a little bit more of an advantage to get him to move and the reason is is there the prongs on there act as teeth so uh, he's biologically built to respond uh, to that sensation and that's exactly what he's done is so now he doesn't even try to put the brakes on uh, just because he knows now it's just a simple correction rather than before with the choke chain you give him a correction and he would still uh, stay frozen and uh, he was achieving stopping us uh, from walking no so <clears throat> well, you got to use whatever tool is going to be right for the job not every dog needs a prong collar uh, but some do and now it's not even an issue and now uh, when they put the brakes on like that he was doing it uh, sometimes out of fear you know so this is actually going to help build his confidence because now he's not stopping he's moving forward no matter what so we want confident dogs to move forward and that's what we want we want him uh, to be confident and so uh, actually the collar the prong collar is making the dog more confident so uh, that's a good thing so um, remember you want to think of the tools as they're, they're a positive thing they're doing something good uh, for the dog and in this case a prong collar is very necessary for this dog it makes his life easier and the owner's life will be easier that way he's not freezing up and you're not having to correct him because what was happening is I'm correcting him when he's freezing up and if he's not moving after one correction then we really need to use something that is more effective so that's why I switched him to a prong collar and if if anybody out there has dogs that are freezing up uh, a prong uh, may be a good uh, choice for you and the key with the prong collar too is that like as you see right now the dog's laying down the prong is loose now it's only if he started chewing on something or uh, did something he's not supposed to that there would be tension that the, he would feel tightness uh, on the prong so the prong used properly is always loose except for when there is uh, a correction that is needed